Hi, in this video, we will be discussing about uh, the second reference type or otherwise called as non-primitive variable, uh, which is array type. Uh, array in Java is a reference type because they are objects that store multiple elements of same type. The variable holds a reference to array object in the memory. When I say the word array, uh, let's uh, slightly um, connect to the uh, primitive type, which is int. So when we had int, there could be int and a variable. Let's say the int or variable name is number. And then you have a value called uh, the value is going to be one, two, three. So this int has a one value in it. Whereas if I will want to have this int to have multiple values, uh, though the the identity, uh, the identity uh, identifier, right? The number which I said. This number is now going to hold more than one. It is going to hold one. It is going to hold two, three, four, five. Let's say I wanted to have number to hold more than one element. The connection what I'm trying to make here is uh, array could hold more than one uh, data of same type. So I, if I say an int array, it means I can hold similar integer items in the same variable. And this is called as reference type because it doesn't directly uh, hold the value itself. It will be ho holding the reference of all this variable. That is why it is called as reference array. So this is a simple explanation. When we do the uh, programming, it could be uh, more uh, convincing and uh, will be self-explanatory when you see the code uh, actually. So what is an int array? So int array is this is what I was explaining. So an arrays themselves are reference types, even if they hold primitive types like int, char, and double. So this integer, char, and double, which I was mentioning, is a primitive array. But one thing that gets deferred when it uh, comes under reference type is they do not come like an individual element they come like a group of similar element. When I say int array, and this is the syntax for uh, declaring an array. So you have int, the data type, which is your primitive type. But the, as soon as you encounter this, the box, box, box brace, and uh, you have a variable, variable name. I mean, so this is int array. This int array is going to be your array reference type. And uh, this is having the collection of um, integer and inside it, I'm passing the size of the array. This is very important. You're using a new constructor, um, new variable, which is a constructor caller. And inside that, you're saying that you're going to pass five elements of type int. So since I'm using a primitive type of int with the array syntax, and I'm also supposed to men mention my size in it, which is five. So when I say five, I will have to pass five elements in it. So which will be starting from zero, one, two, three, four. So zero to four will be my five elements. So this is int array. We would have seen in the class type, which um, which is also a reference type. So when we are creating a class type, for example, this is a class, which is person, and it is having name and integer two fields in it. And I have a constructor to support this class so that it gets initiated with name and integer when the class is getting, uh, when the object is getting created. So I'm creating an object for this. So this object that I'm creating for this class is a array object because I have this box braces and I'm also passing the size of the array uh, elements. Here, my array is a, uh, it's a composite uh, data type in this, uh, reference because it is also having string types in it it is also having uh, integer type in it it is also supporting a special method which is a constructor method which is people uh, and the class name is also person and the constructor name is also person and i'm passing the uh, array size in it so that is the explanation that is also mentioned in the screen which is if you create an array of custom L custom class or any prim or any non primitive type the array is also a reference type. In this case, each element of the array is a reference to the object of the class. So all these things will have a reference, which is the address of the 
class, but it will not directly have the values just like that, like how we will have for a primitive type. So if in primitive type, if you have int, number, and a value, the value will be directly referred in the primitive type. Whereas in the array type or in the, any of the reference type, you will only get the reference, which is you'll get the address of which um, you'll get the address of your uh, reference types that you are using, not directly the values what they are holding into. So uh, long story sh uh, short, um, array is a collection of similar data types together. And when I say collection, more than one element of similar type, that is array. We saw what is int array and we also saw custom class array. Let's also see the same thing in program. So in this program, let's see how the array of int works and array of a custom class also how it works. So let's just put an array of array syntax and then let's say I have a variable name number. So this number is array type and I'm going to use new and declare the size of this array which i'm going to keep as five so this is one way to create an array reference type in this way how we will input the number is so array begins with a zero so of this is going to be 10. so number of one is going to be 20. number of Two is going to be 30. So yeah, I'm just doing only uh, three numbers. I can do till three and, uh, and four. So zero to four, this can hold till five elements. This is one way to assign values to array and um, Another value is you don't have to give the size. You can you can directly uh, use curly brace and start feeding the values in it. So this we can use 11, 22, 33, 44, 55. So one way to assign value is uh, give the size and assign the values using the box brace and the position of the uh, element and feed in the value. Uh, the second way is to use curly brace and uh, feed in the value directly. Let's try to print this. When we print this, I wanted to print only one element. So let's put value of zero, which is going to be 10. And I wanted to print fifth element from this so let me put roll number let's try to run this so this is printing my uh, first element from number array and it is printing the roll number from the uh, fourth element from the a fifth element from the roll number array. So this is for primitive type. And the second example, what we should be um, referring is this reference type. Uh, let's create a class, which is going to be our custom class. Let's say it is going to be student. So we have a custom class called uh, student. And I'm going to create an array of uh, student class which is also going to be the reference type array. And here uh, in student class, I'm going to have roll number and uh, string name. Also, let's have the special method, which is constructor method. And inside that I'm taking string int roll number and um, string name this keyword and 
roll number equals to the roll number that we receive while creating object for the class student and similarly this dot name should be the name that is passed while the object is getting created so now that we have a class uh, the class name is student and it is having a composite data type which is it is also having integer it is also having a string class and the variable name is name so this is the reference type and this is primitive type the class altogether itself is a, a special data type right uh, if we'll compare it to the a simple integer array integer array is directly uh, saving uh, integer type but different values but everything is referring to the number and in the class uh, student class this is going to be the uh, custom class type and uh, this is going to be put into a array of student class let's uh, type what i'm talking about so how we will create a custom array for a class type is car and um, car variable so car array reference variable which is car and here you put new car and pass the size of the car okay there is no car we created student sorry for that and student class we pass the size of the student class and now I wanted to pass the values for it. So student at position zero is going to be equals to new greater student and pass the integer as let's say rule number 11 is going to be a b student at one is going to be 22 and uh, B, B, B. so this is what i meant by having creating a array of custom class and uh, let's try to print this put student so i'm going to refer the zeroth record and let's print the name and so this is for this plus is for appending i'm not going to add i'm going to uh, club the name and roll number so this is going to be a student zero dot roll number similarly when i want to print the second uh, element let's put the same thing mention this record and first record and first record let's try to run this i could have left some space let's left. so a student name is aab and their roll number and student name bbb and their roll number so this is an example for custom class array uh, an array of uh, custom objects are also reference types each element in the array is a reference to an object uh, if, if nothing is going to be initialized now let's try to put the to, if you didn't put any value in it what will it print it is giving you null pointer exception so it is giving you null pointer exception because the val uh, the default value for an array is going to be null if you don't initialize something that is going to be null now let's put null itself and assign it also i'm not creating any object instead i'm going to put null and let's try to print I'll still get the same null pointer exception because it is not assigned, right? That itself is the reason why we are getting this exception. If you put null, it is going to take it as 
null pointer exception if you don't put any values and still if you're going to refer them in your code it is still going to give you a null pointer exception so an uninitialized array is going to give you a null pointer exception uh, one of the reasons why somebody would encounter null pointer exception is they have mentioned uh, to uh, use an uh, object array but then they haven't passed any value inside it and then it throws you the exception called null pointer exception this is the most frequently encountered exception when the programmers are designing some uh, complex data types and uh, fail to initialize it yeah but uh, that apart uh, this uh, video is basically to uh, highlight what is reference array and uh, reference type and uh, reference variable array type and we saw primitive uh, array which was taking an example of int array and then we also saw where is it class student which is a custom class and then we try to create array of custom object so this is custom class and when we create an object for this it is custom array of objects and uh, we also try to print both the things uh, that is it for a reference variable of uh, reference data type which is array thank you